Hi, I am Roxana from VPE State and in this video I will show how to import the demo in Spanish language. I will show all the steps that you need to take after the theme install until the point where you can add your own content. In this domain I have installed the latest VP Residence theme and all included plugins. The next step is to activate the theme. Here I will add my license key. I added the key. I will press check license. My theme is now active. Since I will show how to import a language demo, I will need to install the child theme as all language files are saved there. I have the theme pack saved on my desktop. I will unzip and this is the file that I need to install. I will go to themes, add new theme, press upload theme. I will select the file from my device. This is the file. Press install. and I will activate the child team so the language will apply. The next step is to set the site language from settings, general. Since in this video I will show how to import the Spanish demo, I will select the Spanish language. I will save my change. And now I will continue with the demo import. The team supports SVG icons for features and amenities, but for these icons to be imported with the demo content as well, you will need to install the SVG support plugin. I will show how. I will go to plugins, add new, look for the SVG support plugin, this is the plugin that you need to install, activate it and you will need to set it to be used only from admin. You will need to tick this option and save changes. Now you can proceed with the demo import. I will look for Spanish demo. This is the one. I will press import continue and import. The import process might take a few minutes. The import process is done. I will click visit site. You can see that the demo content was imported. To make it look exactly as the official one, you will need to make some manual adjustments, like uploading images for this section manually. To create this section, the display categories shortcode was used, and the first step is to set correct categories for each element. Since the page was created with Elementor, I will use Elementor to edit it, so I will press Edit with Elementor. I will scroll down to this section. I will click the section and select the categories that I want to show on front end. I have selected four categories. I will save my change. And now I will need to go to Admin, Properties, and for each category upload an image. For display categories, only categories, types, city, area and state will be used. I will show how to upload the images. I will go to Categories, Edit Apartments. 
Here I will need to add the image. I will press upload image. I will select an image from my device. Select the image. Press insert into post and save the change I made. In home page you will see the first image. I will do the same for the rest of the categories. I finished adding all images. The section will show correctly now. Next in home page we have tabs element from Elementor and this will need to and the details from each tab need to be edited in a different page. You can do this by hovering over edit with Elementor. You can see that you have tabs content 1, 2, 3 and 4. In each of this tab content you will find the details that you can see here. I will show an example. For the first tab I will press section. You can see here the same element and here you will be able to edit the content and add your own text, image and other details. Once you make a change you need to save it and the actual change will be visible in home page. Going back to home page, the rest of the details have been correctly imported. For the map you will need to decide on the map system that you wish to use. You need to go in admin, team options, go to map section, if Google Maps will be selected, a Google Maps API key will need to be created and added in the team or you can leave selected OpenStreet. From admin side, you will need to set permalinks correctly as well. You will need to go to settings, permalinks and set them to custom. Save changes. The demo content is now complete and you can start adding your own content. I will show quickly how to replace the demo images from home page with your own and how to manage translation using local translate plugin. To change the home page images, you need to edit the page with Elementor. To be able to find the elements easier, I suggest to enable the navigator. From here, you will need to click each section and here you will have the element. The header section was created with Elementor. To change the background image, you need to press here. This is the image. The background color and the opacity. Next, in the header section, we have one column. To change the text, you need to go to heading section. And for the image, you need to edit the column background. Next, we have the advanced search shortcut. This is the header. For this section we have an image added as a background. This is the image. Once you finished making changes you need to press save. Now the last step is to manage translations with local translate plugin. You will need to install it from plugins. Add new type local translate. This is the plugin that you need to install. 
Activate the plugin. To manage translation, you need to open the plugin settings. Here you will have the domain language. You can see here the team that I have active which is the child team where the language files can be found. You need to look for Spanish language file. This is the one. Press edit. And here you will find all strings in English. And here you will find the Spanish translation. To make an edit, select the string. And here you will need to change the words and here you will need to change the words. The same will need to be done for the core plugin as well. You need to go to plugins, VP Residence, VP Residence Team Core functionality. Look for Spanish language file. edit and change the translation.